The critically acclaimed UK stage adaptations of Hilary Mantel's Wolf Hall novels will soon play in rep on the Great White Way. I was recently in London to find out all about Wolf Hall Parts 1 and 2 from the show's stars, Ben Miles, Nathaniel Parker and Lydia Leonard. What is Wolf Hall Parts 1 and 2? A long story of the Tudors, which I think everybody knows. Um, and in fact, I think the most uh, common denominator in it is Henry VIII. It's not about Henry VIII as such, although I would love to say that it, it were um, playing him, but uh, it's really about his assistant, Thomas Cromwell, and how Thomas Cromwell gets him from Catherine of Aragon, who's his first wife, through Anne Boleyn, his second one, onto the third one, Jane Seymour, who actually lived at Wolf Hall, hence the title. It's just this mix of kind of sex and politics, and the date the stakes are so high. It's like, I think it's like kind of like Tudor, West Wing meets House of Cards. You know, it's, it, it's really, really thrilling. But our story centers on this guy who uh, was the son of a blacksmith, and he rose to become probably the most important, influential, powerful man in England at the time. He was Henry VIII's right-hand man. He was known as a kingmaker. He made laws, he made decisions. He, he, his influence was, and still is, uh, immense in England and throughout Europe. So it's really his story about how he, how he comes from nothing to being really somebody. It's two shows. Do you have to see part one first or can, are they standalone? I mean, I mean, how does it work if you're a member of the public buying a ticket? This was a major concern for us at the beginning. Uh, pretty quickly that disappeared. Actually, they both stand up fantastically well on their own. You can see the part two before part one. It doesn't really matter because you, you, you get filled in on the history and the backstory and what's happened even in part two if you haven't seen part one. But obviously the best way to see it is part one and then part two. What do you think audiences take with them from Wolf Hall once they've seen the show? Most people I speak to when they come out are initially kind of quite, quite speechless. It, like I said, it, it, it grabs hold of you and it doesn't let you go. The pace is so slick and fast. You think, oh, it's, I mean, it's just not the historical drama that you think you're going to see. Like I said, it's kind of, it feels very modern and it moves so fast. No one can believe how quickly the time went. The very second show we did in Stratford-upon-Avon, a friend of mine brought a 13-year-old boy and I said, did, was it all right for you? Did you understand what was going on? He said, yeah, no problem, it's not Shakespeare. This is a completely different way of talking. It's a great story of survival and success against the odds and I think, I think people like that in the story. It's, um, I think you come out thinking, yeah, well done. Thank you.